Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Clover, um, and in today's video we're going to be opening a Japanese booster box of EV Heroes. I have not opened a Japanese booster box probably since like 2011, which now that's like 10 years. It's been probably about 10 years since I've opened a set of Japanese booster packs. Um, not booster packs, but a booster box in general. Um, and I feel like back in the day, back when I used to open them, they were smaller. Um, they weren't as wide as they are now, which is just so cool and so unique. Um, but this is Eevee Heroes, of course. Um, and I hope my camera quality is all right. Um, but if you haven't seen already on our channel, we actually opened a booster box of the English set, um, Evolving Skies. So this is the Japanese set EV Heroes, and I also have another bot, another booster box of this, and I'll see if I want to open that one or if I want to keep one sealed. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this opening. I want to take like a really good thumbnail. Probably have like my nails in it. But how do you guys like my nails? I got them painted with my friends and I went for this little like pink and green little color, but I thought like it would be so fun to have my nails painted while I'm opening my, like my booster packs. Um, Cause it just like looks pretty, you know what I mean? Also like, is my camera centered? Like, is this centered in the frame? I don't know. It could be like skewed a little bit to the side, but who knows? I fixed my filming setup a little bit more. Um, this is like a lot more top down than it was before. Um, but you can see the glare. I'm not filming during the day. I'm actually filming this at night. So apologies for any weird lighting um, because there's no sun or anything. This is just like the sun. I mean, the light that comes from my actual lights. But I'm going to start opening this booster box and we're going to get right into it. This is my first time opening a booster box in like 10 years of Japanese cards, which I'm just so just enthralled by the fact that I have just, it's been so long since I've opened um, any of these booster boxes. And the last time I opened a Japanese booster box, they looked so much different. But this is such a beautiful booster box. You can see my little Crocs. I have two different colors. But I, what, what I was saying was sometimes I wish that the English sets would swap as well like the Japanese sets do. Um, they would like swap and have, you know, two different sets to collect. Um, whether you're more into like, you know, the Rayquazas or you're more into the Eevees, you would just have like more of an option. But I get that English sets, it's more for like, you know, the trading card players. So it makes more sense to combine it for them. But here's the booster box and we're going to crack it open. Like I'm trying my best not to just like rip it open. Gosh, this is such like a unique, like I just have not, I've not opened a Japanese booster box like this shape. It, like the last booster box I opened was like shiny collection, if anybody here remembers that. Oh my gosh. And it was a completely different shape than this booster box. But these pack arts are so beautiful. I'm definitely going to be saving one of the pack arts. Um, but we're just going to start going ahead, going right ahead and opening them. Um, I might shift the booster box over here if we get any like really fun pulls. Um, I think I'm supposed to just work this off. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it like this, but I just worked such a long shift at work and I'm like kind of tired, but I still am like really excited to open these cards, of course. Um, and because I'm just like excited, I love Japanese cards. I have like a huge, like, just like growing up, I definitely like loved them, but I'm definitely gonna try to save one pack art. So maybe not this one because like we just saw things happen. I don't know the card trick, so we'll see that on the first pack at least, what the card trick is. But I'm just gonna toss this pack over here and we can get right into opening them. So we have Smeargle. Um, oh my gosh. Arachnopod. We have Mag Cargo. Ooh, and a Zora Kahlo. This is such a beautiful card, first of all. So it's, I guess it's one, one, you just put one from the back to the front. 
is such a gorgeous card. I just love the way Japanese, like the, the Japanese Pokemon holographics look. Like you get the hollow all the way on the sides. It just makes it so much more special. I think, you know, the English hollows, were, they're just not that special and that's why I don't think people care about them at all. But oh my gosh, the Japanese plasma hollows were just so beautiful. And I'm just still just in love with those Japanese hollows. Let's see. The Zorark looks amazing. I'll put him right back here. <clears throat> I'm still working on filming setups. Um, I want to get like a mat to put down here so you're not just like kind of seeing straight down because I do have a glass table, <laughs> which like is really pretty and beautiful like in person, but maybe it doesn't, um, you know, look as good on camera. Let's try to save one of these packs. Okay, there we go. A lot of people cut their Japanese booster packs. Um, I have scissors here, so if it gets too like challenging, maybe I will have to cut a few open. But, you know, I don't know. Me, scissors and trading cards, I feel like are just not a great combination. So we're just not gonna risk anything today. Um, but I'm gonna save this pack art because it's really pretty. So there's the, the promotional card or something. <laughs> Are these showing up over here? I like don't even know. I like literally can't see anything over there. One to the front. Yeah, it's one to the front. So we have Persian. Pikachu, such a beautiful art again. Pangoro. Seawattle, super cute my green and my and his green and the sun badge the sun and moon badge or one of those names the thing about japanese packs um that you know if you don't know already is that um you're not guaranteed like a rare um like in the english ver in the english sets how you're literally guaranteed at least a rare um and you also only get five cards in the japanese sets whereas in english you get Girl, God knows how many, 10, and the code cards, which, you know, it's just different. It's not like better or worse. Um, it's just simply different. Sorry, I just like knocked the heck out of my camera. <laughs> um, but I really like how the Japanese sets do it. Personally, I think it's cool, but you know, to each their own. I'm not, you know, if you like English, collecting English cards, if you like collecting Japanese cards, I like collecting all kinds of cards, so I don't really mind, personally. But here is the Ribbon, Slugma, girl, I cannot remember his name, and Feebas. Oh, oh my gosh, in a Swampert Reverse. This is gorgeous. The Swampert Hollow. Oh, I think this card is just immaculate. And I don't think we I get to appreciate it as much in English because I don't know, the modern hollows, the modern English hollows just don't do it for me. I loved the plasma series, of course, because of like the darting that the plasma series had, but like just look at this hollow. Again, these sleeves, like I need to get new sleeves that kind of like show off the cards a lot more. But Oh, that Swampert looks so good. I just love him so much. I'm just gonna put him over here for right now. <laughs> Here's another pack. This pack art is just, again, immaculate. So gorgeous, um, so thoughtful. I feel like that's why I really resonate with the Japanese trading cards, because I feel like they're just a lot, they're just like a lot more thoughtful. Um, and it looks like a lot of care and love was put into the set. Um, and of course it just kind of gets translated over to English. Um, but I feel like there, I have an appreciation for like the original language that it was printed in. Just cause. A dream ball. Gossy Fleur. Voltorb. Mawile, super cute artwork. That's a really cute mobile art. And a Morgrum. Really cool artwork again. 
Ichi, Ichi Geki. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that, is that single strike or is that rapid strike? It's one of the two. Um, but are you guys excited for the new Fusion Art set? I officially ordered my booster boxes, um, so they should be coming, you know, at some time after the set gets released over in Japan. Um, I'll, like, you know, it'll get shipped over to me in the States. But are you guys excited for it? I'm, I'm personally really excited. I love Mew. Um, so a set that, you know, is kind of centered and revolving around Mew is definitely one that I think I can get behind. Here is a Sandy Gast, a Slugma, a Pikachu, a Smeargle. Oh my gosh, already, already we have a Leafeon V. Oh my gosh, I actually have this card in English, so it's so cool to see it in Japanese as well. And I can't wait to like um, put it in my binder right next to the English version. But we're starting out with strong with an Eevee. Evolution. I love Leafeon. Oh, like Ray. I feel like I'm giving some like Leafeon energy today with my vibes. But it's so pretty. Oh, I love him. Such a beautiful card. Let's put him in the sleeve. In our what's it called? In our English booster box. Um, spoiler alert. But I think I got a. Leafeon V Max? No, I think I also got a I think I pulled a Leafeon V as well in my English in my English opening of Evolving Skies. <laughs> also, I'm filming with um my iPad quality, so I'll see if it's better or worse than filming with my AirPods. Because the sound quality in my last video just wasn't like great. Um I'm not really used to having like sound issues. Um, but like the sound just like wasn't correct. Um, I don't know if I was just talking really quiet or what happened. Livani, one of my favorite Pokemon because it's both grass and bug and I love nature and obviously I love bugs. So Livani is just going to be like, you know, perfect for me. So that's Livani. We have Mag Cargo. Oh, this Rotom artwork is really pretty. Rotom, oh, Eevee, of course we need to see Eevee. Literally the queen of this set. And, oh my gosh, back to back amazing pulls. Sylveon VMAX, this is a gorgeous card. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I don't, I don't have this in English at all. Oh my gosh, RRR. And then that one was just an R. This is so beautiful. Like, I'm just astonished by the beauty of Sylveon VMAX. Um, I love the VMAXs. And we didn't get a VMAX, an Evolution VMAX in our English opening. So it's so great to see one. In Japanese, of course. And it's even more like, you know, it's more even more like reflective. Like, the Japanese cards just have a lot more reflection going on in them, which I really appreciate personally. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we just pulled back-to-back evolutions. And they were two of my favorite because Sylveon is literally one of my favorites because I love pink and I love fairy types. I think they're like, I, like I was so excited when they first got introduced in X and Y. And of course, Sylveon was, you know, kind of like the leader of the fairy types. Um, because, of course, evolutions, and he was new. They were new for um, X and Y. Here we have Milotic, Seawaddle, Mantine. This is Pangoro, and we have Gordy. Just a little trainer card. <laughs> Super exciting still, but we just have that pile of commons and uncommons. Here we have another pack, and of course, featuring the gorgeous pack art. I think my videos are a lot longer, but maybe it's because I talk, maybe it's because I, I don't know, I, I do like creating, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was kind of chaotic, okay, <laughs> I didn't, maybe I should, maybe this is why people use scissors and don't just go in willy-nilly and cut them, because that happens, but I want to make sure that my videos are, like, slow, um, 
because I, I, I like taking my time when I'm opening my cards. I don't want to just like, you know, I, I, it's fun to breeze through them sometimes, but you know, this is something special. Opening cards should be like fun and special and you know, it doesn't need to be like a race. I mean, it can be if you want it to be, but for me personally, that's not what I'm looking for. But there's a pincer and someone, electric, a zoomeral, and that is the last card in this pack, which is just a gorgeous card and a gorgeous artwork, I might add. So let's try a little bit better with this pack and hopefully it doesn't just explode like it did, like that last one did. That was crazy. I don't know why it just completely like exploded like that. That was like, that was insane. I don't know. Like, I don't even, I can't even fathom the way that that happened. Like, that was just insane how that happened. One to the front. Another one of those fun badges. Here we have Pancho. Araquanid, I remembered his name. <laughs> oh, Flabebe, I really love that card. And, ooh, an Ente Hollow. This is a gorgeous card. I just am so, just like enthralled by this holographic. I think the Japanese hollows are just like so special, um, unfortunately, compared to the English hollows. Because I just love that, the, the silver strip that Japanese cards just have. Um, that's just like a part of them. I'll just put them up here. Okay. And I, I and as much as I love that, you know, the English set comes with so many more cards, I do love the simplicity of the Japanese sets. Um, not simplicity necessarily, but the fact that it's just a lot less cards um, that you just have to deal with. You know, when you open a booster box, you're not getting a million commons and uncommons. You're just getting what you're getting, which I really personally like. Um, you know, because I, I love the commons and uncommons, of course, but you know, in an English booster box, um, you're getting so many commons and uncommons that you don't necessarily need. Um, this is Swadloon and, ooh, another hollow. And this one's a Raichu. That's a gorgeous card with the Rotom in the back. Oh my gosh. It looks so pretty with my nails too, the yellow. This is a gorgeous card. Um, and I'm so glad to have gotten it. I, I just love the holographics. Like the Japanese hollows are very special to me. And I kind of do wish, you know, more was done for the English hollows because I feel like more was done at one point and they've just kind of fallen. And, you know, people only really care about secret rares and, you know, people don't even really care about like ultra rares. Um, unless they're certain ones or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just love the Japanese ex card opening experience. <clears throat> it just offers something fresh. Here's a shopping center. I think this is Sandy Gast. Oh, this Zora, Zora art is so beautiful. This is going to be gosh, what is his name? Oh, Meowth. And oh, another hollow. This is um, that legendary Pokemon. <laughs> it is so, it's so different not having the names um, for me. And of course, like, even if I read um, Japanese, this isn't their English name. This is their name in Japanese. Oh, but I love him. Comment down below what his name is, because I do know it. Um, I'm just on the spot and I don't have his name here. Just telling me what it is. There's a lot of Pokemon guys. Um, at one point I knew them all, just like you probably do now. But, you know, generations and generations have gone by. Um, and there's just no way, I don't, I don't think anymore, that I can know every single Pokemon. Um, because I, I'm not as deeply invested in like the video games and I think the video games are kind of what helps you learn their names um maybe the card game does too but I haven't been deeply enthralled in the card game either this is my first opening stack 
you know, in the TCG. Maybe not the TCG, but in like the TC, just maybe the TCG, but this are, these are like my first openings um, since I kind of went on like a really long hiatus from collecting Pokemon cards. Here's another pack though. This is that special energy. Oh, so cute. Oh, this is Indeedy. I don't know. Oh, this Mudkip art is so cute with the little like sandy ghast in the background. And Pangoro. Ooh, and Marshtomp. These arts are just literally incredible. I don't know, did I, were they not in the English set? Was, was this not in the English set? I'm very confused because it, I, it doesn't feel like it was there. I don't think I got to notice it when I was opening my booster box or maybe I was just trying to like rush to get that booster box open that I just didn't take the time to um, appreciate some of the beauty that was in front of me. And that's the thing with Japanese booster boxes, they have so many less packs and so many less cards that you just have a lot more opportunity to marvel at the beauty of some of them. Here's another one of those ribbons. Here is Smeargle, Azumarill. This is Araquanid, um, Floet, and, oh, and Floet's the last card. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so used to having so many cards in the pack um, when because I just opened the Evolving Skies booster box, and it is nice again. It's, you know, it's different. It's unique to open the Japanese cards because it's only five cards and I need to count in my head so I know like, okay, that was four cards. I just am savagely ripping through packs. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm dropping things. One to the front. <gasps> Electrode. Oh my God, he looks like he's about to literally self-destruct. Pikachu. Mawile, Morgrim, and oh my gosh, I have this in English too. I'm so excited. This is Vaporeon V. Fun fact, um, in the English set, they actually took Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon V and made them promos for the tins. So I got the Vaporeon tin and it's so cool to see that I have him here with me, and I also have the English one that's a promo and not a part of the set. That is so awesome. Oh, I'm so glad to have pulled him. I love Vaporeon. I like used to swim when I was younger. Um, well, also when I wasn't young, um, when I wasn't a kid anymore, I was a swimmer all throughout my life. And I feel like Vaporeon, I felt so, felt very deeply connected to Vaporeon because I love the water too. And you know, Vaporeon is the water. It's a water type and it's a fish basically. Um, oh my gosh, girl. Just rip it open at this point. Um, but yeah, I, I love that Vaporeon V and I love um, that the Japanese set obviously includes it. And you know, it's unfortunate that the English sets disclude it because um, I would love to have pulled I, I still haven't gotten the other two tins, so I need to get those to get those other, to get Jolteon and Flareon V. But here's Persian. This is um, Gossy Fleur. Mad Cargo. And Feebas. And the Aroma Flower Lady. She's so cute. I really love her. I love that skirt she's wearing. I would really like to wear that too. <laughs> and the flower in her hair is like so gorgeous. Oh, we are done with one side of our booster box, which means that we just have one more side left. And I'm having so much fun opening these cards. It's like so nice to come back from an eight hour work shift and just get to like open some cards, reminisce about Pokemon, see some like really great artwork because, you know, as much as Pokemon 
has evolved into like kind of like something different these days. Um, you know, these are pieces of art. These cards are artwork. Um, and maybe, you know, people play the competitive game, but to me, I still see Pokemon cards as just works of art. Um, you know, they are art. Like, this is art. You know, there is an artist that did this art um, right down here. But it's just so profound, the impact that Pokemon has. These, like, you know, they're just separate art pieces. That's Levani. Oh, another Eevee. So happy to see another one. Voltorb. Next. And the Glacier Freeze Badge for Glaceon. Um... I think it like lowers the retreat cost <laughs> of the Glaceon V or V Max. But here is another pack. Mm -hmm. We got so many Vs on that one side. What if this side is like barren? <laughs> that would be kind of sad, but at the same time, like, I mean, I'm still really happy to have pulled all those Vs that I did. One to the front. This is the Sandy Gust. Another one of those darling Marie Arts, Merrill Arts, Indeedy, Swadloon, and oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I can't remember its name right now. It's not Gossy Fleur, I think that's that one. But this is from Pokemon Unite and just a splendid holographic card. I'm just so like mesmerized again by these hollows. Um, is this not even a hollow in the English set? I don't think. I think it's just a normal rare. But you know, maybe the Japanese set knew what it was doing by making it a hollow. I just love the Japanese hollows. They're just very, just like like well done um, compared to not like ragging on the English hollows, but. You know, I just am not that excited about an English hollow um, versus I, I feel excited about the Japanese ones because they feel they they feel special too, um, especially because in Japanese booster packs you're not guaranteed anything, which I kind of like because that's kind of like 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 life a little bit. You have Pinsir, we have Slugma, Poltegeist, not Poltegeist, um, Sandygast, Mantine. And a dream ball, a dreamy dream ball. Look at my nails compared to that dream ball. It's a gorgeous card. I hope my camera, like, I hope my camera quality is great. Um, and my sound quality is okay this time because it was so bad in that last video. And I don't know, maybe if you're watching this, you might need to just turn up your audio a little bit because I do talk pretty soft. Um, and maybe I should get a microphone, but I don't know. I'm not really great. I'm really like not good at technology. So trying to set all that up might be really hard, but I could ask a friend to help me, I guess. Here's the Sun and Moon badge. This is Pancham. Electric. Meow. Oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous card. This is Sylveon V. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I am just like enthralled by this card. Oh my gosh. I love that. Um, it's like the full card. Like it is basically a full art. Like these are basically full art. It's like back in um, the EX eras, um, you know, when they first introduced full art, it's like the EXs would literally only be in this part. But now the V's literally come down to like right here which I love. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, this Sylveon is just so gorgeous. I'm so like grateful to have it in my collection and to have it right with the VMAX. Such a fun set. I love the difference in emotions between the Sylveons. This is like, you know, me when I'm just existing in nature um, and then me when I get angry or upset. <laughs> but again, we're multifaceted. I, you can exist as both kinds of beings. Let me just ripping that fish open. But it's interesting because I could basically like 
I can see it twice, so if I wanted to just, you know, hold it right here and look off screen, I could do that too, because I can still see um, whatever's here as well. Rotom and another Morgrim. <laughs> he's so, like, interesting to me. Um, he's kind of like a little bit of a dweeb, but in, like, a cute way, you know? I don't know, why do people use scissors for their Japanese booster packs? Um, is it because they just want it, like, done faster than having to just kind of, like, rip it open? I don't know, personally, but... Another one of these little things. Beautiful Mudkip. Sea Waddle. And an Electros. Oh, it's interesting that they didn't make this one a hollow. It's such a beautiful artwork. Done by Akacha, Akachika. Gosh, such a beautiful card though. And I just love that silver border, personally. I feel like pop. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just having so much fun opening these cards. They feel so good. <gasps> This Kangas Khan art is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love him. Again, that beautiful Meryl art. Sandy Gast and... Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Are you literally serious? This is my favorite evolution, and we pulled the alternate art Espeon. The alternate art Espeon V. This is so beautiful. I am just insanely taken back by the beauty of this card. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm literally like looking at it both in person and on the camera. And I am just like, I'm just like shocked. I can't believe we pulled an alternate art Espeon V. I literally today was about to purchase this card in English, um, which I still might do, um, or try to trade my Rayquaza for one. But this is so beautiful. This is my favorite card from the set. It's like tied with this in the Umbreon. Yeah. Oh my god, and I love, and also this, but I think the Sylveon V alternate art is like right under this, this one. So this is my tied for first, and that Sylveon V alternate art is like second. But this is, it's just insane that this is the card that I got, and I got one of the alternate arts. I don't know if that's guaranteed from Japanese card packs, um, from booster boxes, but I can't believe we got an alternate art. That is just so beautiful to me. I'm so, and I and I got to capture that moment on camera. Oh my gosh, I was so stunned when I saw this card because I see it like kind of delayed, you know? I'm, I'm flipping through the packs and I'm looking at it on camera and then all of a sudden it's there and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite Pokemon. The gem is so beautiful and just, oh. I love the aesthetic and the vibe of this card, like the mood and the energy that this card holds of the books flying and floating around in the distance. It is so beautiful to me. Oh, I'm so, so insanely happy to pull this card. Like I am gonna be looking at this card forever and I'm gonna put it in a better sleeve. Um, one that really shows its beauty. Oh, I'm having like balance right there. But we're going to continue opening cards, and it's crazy that there's more packs to open. And we literally got my my favorite card from the set. It's crazy. And oh my gosh, this is a lesson in being patient because I was kind of sad in my during my English card opening that we didn't pull that many Eevees. But we, we got the one I wanted. Um, and maybe I had to wait a little bit. Um, I mean like a day but you know what I mean I didn't really have to wait that long but it's there it's literally sitting 
right in front of me and I'm just insanely, insanely happy. Oh, that is such a gorgeous card, Mantine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Umbreon VMAX. This is a gorgeous card. Oh my gosh. This is also one of the, this is my favorite VMAX from the set. Oh my gosh. This is a insanely beautiful and special card. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is my favorite um, non-alternate art one. Just love the expression that Umbreon's giving with the, and the, showing the red eyes with the red reflection around him. Oh, this is so good. Back to back, are you serious? This box is like, I, I think this is just patience because I was saying, oh my gosh, like I didn't get enough Eevees in my um, English opening, but this is the Eevees. I just needed to wait a couple days and my Eevees are here and they're in Japanese, which is so beautiful and special to me because it just reminds me of so much happiness of being in Japan. Oh my God, there's probably nothing in these packs because we literally, quick recap for what we've pulled so far, but we've pulled Umbreon VMAX, we've pulled Sylveon VMAX, Sylveon V, Vaporeon V, and Leafeon V, and the alternate art Espeon V. Oh my gosh, this is the most incredible opening that I feel like I've ever done in my life. And it's, it's, I'm so happy that I, that I decided to record this and film this. Um, so I can watch it back. Like, I want to watch, I want to watch my reaction to getting that Espeon V because that was so beautiful. That was just like the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful card opening moments that I've had in the past decade. Another shopping center, Indeedee, Electric. Mad Cargo, and a Merch Dump. I'm just like, I'm like shocked. I'm just shocked by the beauty of that Espeon alternate art. I'm shocked at just how much that this, that EV Heroes just blessed me um, and just made me feel like, oh my gosh, like that was amazing. Like, oh, what? We pulled the Espeon V alternate art, the one that I've wanted since I've seen this set announced. Oh my gosh, I'm just still so, I'm still reeling from that. Fluet, Pencham, um, Smeargle, Mudkip, and Milotic. Oh, that was, and the Umbreon V Max right afterwards not even giving me one second to recover from that amazing pull, we get Umbreon VMAX. Insane. In freaking insane. The girls are falling, but I do not mind. We have Persian, Floet, and the Glacial Badge. So this is also just a pretty card in general. I just really love this trainer. Oh, but I'm still shocked by this card sitting right in front of you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, my nails. Like, I just am so... The little things in life just can make you so exponentially happy. And I think that, I don't know, it's really important to find things that make you happy and just have fun with them. Like, just have fun. Life is about fun. It's also challenging, but, you know, what's in between the challenges is fun. Oh, this, it's, she's so dreamy. I love her energy. Like, her energy that she's giving me is just so pure and beautiful. Meow. Feebas. Voltorb. And another Zoror Kala. This is a really pretty card. And, you know, if I'm going to get a double, I'm glad it was Zoroark. Honestly, I love all of the hollows, so I don't really have a preference. But 
We're down to our last three packs of EV Heroes. Um, and honestly, this opening was so good, I might, I might not open the other box. I might just keep that one sealed for my collection. Um, okay, interesting that we saw the EV for some reason. <laughs> Get rid of that. Um, I might just keep the other one sealed for my collection. Um, I don't really keep sealed cards, but I don't know, maybe I'll start because this now has such a special place in my heart. Margaret, of course, Evie, Azumarill, Gossy Fleur, and, oh my gosh, he's here. Is this in the English set? Like, was where was this? I feel like I did not pull this in my booster box. I love this, I love this card. He's, he is looking intense. Like, he's definitely feeling emotions. We're getting so many hollows. This box has been just splendid. <laughs> Such, why did I say splendid? But it's been, it really truly has been splendid in terms of the pulls from this box. I don't know. I don't think I've had, I think arguably these are better than what I got from my American box. And I think Japanese pull rates are a lot lower. Electrode, Slugma, Mawile, Seawattle, and an Energy. We're on our last pack, and honestly, there's no regrets. <laughs> this has just been an insane opening, and I'm just so... I was just excited to be opening it. I Going into this, I literally was like, I just want some of the EV Illusions. I just want to see some. I want to see them in person. Um, I've seen artwork of them online, of course, but I just want to see them in person, experience them, experience opening them at least before, you know, maybe, of course, I'll, I, I might buy them later, but I just want to at least open a few. And now I've had that experience. Badge. Zorla. Rotom. Beautiful artwork. Araquanid. And... Oh my gosh, ending it on another V, the Glaceon V, which honestly one of the most beautiful Vs from this set. And I have the Glaceon V Max in English, so I can put them right next to each other. My gosh, this is another just insane card. We've finished our booster box. And I don't feel anything but happiness that we opened it. I was a little bit sad from my English opening. Um, not like sad, but you know, I just didn't see as many Eevee Illusions as I wanted to see. Um, I just wanted to see them in person and experience them. Um, and that didn't necessarily happen in the English opening, but I think it was because this opening was where all of the evolutions resided. They were here. They were here all along, waiting for me to open them, waiting for me to get this parcel in the mail from Japan. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just still so excited about that. I'm going to do a little recap of the pulls that we got. We've got him. We've got, of course, the beautiful Zoroark. Another Zoroark. Her, Eldegoss, Raichu, Entei, this gorgeous art, this one, <laughs> Swampert, oh, and we're starting the Vs, Glaceon V, Sylveon V, Vaporeon V, Leafeon V, then we have the Sylveon V Max, of course. The Umbreon VMAX, who is literally spectacular looking. And finally, the, um, the Espeon V. The most beautiful card in this set, in my opinion. And we pulled it. And I'm just so excited and so happy that I got to share this moment with you and with myself. And just be present in it. It was so fun to open these cards, and I'm so glad um, that I got to open it with you. Um, 
it was so fun and my nails I just feel I feel beautiful and the cards look beautiful and I guess that's all that really matters so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe to my channel um and yeah <laughs> I hope all the Pokemon cards that you get make you feel just as happy as I feel opening these cards. And don't get down on yourself or on the world if your pulls aren't good in one place because it just might mean that they're waiting for you somewhere else. And that's not something to like go spend more money, but you just never know where the pulls and like the beauty can lie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye everybody. I'm okay. I wish I could go back in time 10 years and tell myself that.